Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, Munzur al Purmur swimming areas have been included in a swimming water monitoring system. The Azerbaijan Armed Forces open fire on Tagavart and Karmin Shuka. Should the arrow of peace cause the fate of Western Armenia Grigory Ayvazyan, the Turkish Foreign Ministry condemned the visit of President of UN General Assembly to the genocide of Armenia's memorial complex, the second meeting of State Council for the Protection of Culture and Heritage of the occupied territories of Republic of Artsakh was held. There are certain centers whose goal is to undermine the statute of Artsakh, David Babayan, a native of Western Armenian artist known throughout the United States, has created more than 1,000 exclusive canvases. The Ministry of Health conducts research and monitoring on public health protection and water pollutants in a Munzur district in the Dersim province of Western Armenia. Five of nine beaches in a Munzur area, four in the Pulumur area, are included in the Ministry's water monitoring system. During the swimming season on June 15 and September 15, the Health Department of State of Dersim takes water samples from swimming areas every 15 days and conducts their microbiological analysis. According to the result of analysis conducted in 2022, it was reported according to qualitative criteria, nine pools are sufficient in their sim and there is no beach with its negative result in terms of swimming. The Azerbaijan Armed Forces opened fire on the communities of Tagavart and Karmir Shuka. The Martini District Police Department reported that about 11.45, Azerbaijans conducted intense fire on the communities of Tagavart and Karmir Shuka for about 20 minutes. There are no casualties. Western Armenia demands that Azerbaijan stop this unrestrained behavior and follow the norms of international law. Any provocation carried out on a sovereign territory or republic of Armenia and on the borders of Artsakh is closely monitored and recorded by Western Armenia. Yeah. On Western Armenia TV, Azerbaijani scholar Grigory Ayvazyan spoke about the domestic and foreign policy of Azerbaijan, noting that the domestic political situation in Azerbaijan is very bad now, and this is also due to the signing of a document with Armenia, since it's likely that there will be civil protests that could escalate into a civil war. According to him, the Aliyev regime is looking for a finding an enemy in domestic and foreign policy in order to prolong its existence. Aliyev regime cannot prolong its existence without a seeming struggle. The full interview can be viewed on official YouTube channel of Western Armenia TV. The Turkish Ministry of Foreign Affairs condemned the visit of President of UN General Assembly, Abdullah Sali, to the genocide of Armenia's memorial complex. This is reported by Ermenihabler.am, having transmitted a message to the Turkish Foreign Ministry, in which in particular it says, People presenting as or test UN bodies must act in accordance with legislation and international legal norms and rules of the UN, in particular in 1948 UN Convention on the Prevention of Punishment of Crime of Genocide. We condemn and reject the attempts to falsify historical facts and international law through political speculation. In addition, it was noted that Sai's visit to Armenia was illegally used as an instrument of unliteral Armenian seizures. The message also said that Said has taken up such a position which should be fair and impartial as the post of President of UN General Assembly should act more carefully and responsibly. On July 28, the second meeting of State Council for Protection of the Culture Heritage of Occupied Territories or Republic of Artsakh was held under the chairmanship of State Minister of Republic of Artsakh, Artak Beglarian. Secretary of the Council, Sergei Shaverdian, made a report on implementation of the action plan of the State Council for the Protection of Culture and Heritage of the Occupied Territories or Republic of Artsakh. The list of collection of museum and exhibition halls remaining in the Occupied Territories or Republic of Artsakh was improved on the next issue of the agenda. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Artsakh will continue to work for the sake of saving Artsakh, strengthening ties with countries of Pan-Armenian Trinity, said the Minister of Foreign Affairs or Republic of Artsakh, David Babayan. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs is one of the key structures of the public administration system of Republic of Artsakh. He went through a past full of trials and each part of the story had its own characteristics, its own difficulties, which the Foreign Ministry overcome quite effectively. Now we are also at a rather difficult stage in our history and continue to fight for the future of our country. The staff of Ministry of Foreign Affairs is interesting. They are veterans of diplomatic service and young people and everyone is bound to common interests and values. Our traditional goals are unchanged. These are the international recognition of Republic of Artsakh, the development of relations with different countries and their subject to settlement of Azerbaijan Artsakh conflict, the preservation of geopolitical subjectivity of Artsakh and the further strengthening of Armenian Artsakh diaspora connection. 
Ruby Kochalan is a wonderful artist who lives and works in California, USA. During his fruitful career, he created more than 1,000 exclusive oil paintings. Ruby Kochalan was born in Yerevan in 1940. His family was exiled in Serbia in 1946 because of Stalinist regime. After his family returned to Yerevan in 1953, Ruby began to the Ternames Art School, where he studied with several famous Armenian artists. In 1955, he entered the Moscow Art School. Later, he had the opportunity to study at the Asian Masters of Pushkin Museum. In 1959, Rudik returned to Yerevan to work with leading influential artists and received a Master of Five Arts degree from the Yerevan State Institute. Almost 10 years later, in 1968, in the following years, Rubik participated in many exhibitions in Armenia as well as in other countries. Now, musical part Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.